Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct this assembly of hexagonal pattern box in Autodesk Inventor. In this tutorial, we are going to construct this assembly in two parts. First part will be this pattern and the second part will be this box on which this sheet will be attached. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Go to new. Take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. First, we will make this enclosure. <coughs> so, go to 2D sketch. Select the top plane, the visor plane, rotate the view. Now, from here, select the two point center rectangle and select the center point. Here, give the dimension. 80 mm tab 80 ok now go to fillet command and here give a fillet of 15 mm select this side edge this side these and this so we have selected all the four sides or edges you can say now go to finish sketch and take the extrude command here extrude this up to a height of 35 mm ok and we will do a symmetric extrude so click here on symmetric and ok ok now we will make this profile a hollow profile for that go to shell command take the thickness as 4 mm select this top face rotate and select this bottom and ok ok so this profile is hollow from inside now go to home now we'll make I uh, will show you this side groove to shed the sheet metal part for this cut we will first from here we will select the origin and select the exit plane go to create sketch go to project geometry and select this outer profile one by one select all the edges and last ok now finish so we have make an outline of this profile ok now to make a cut profile select the yz plane go to create sketch and here go to rectangle command and select the two point center rectangle from this center make a rectangle profile go to dimension give this a width of 4 mm and height here of uh, height will take 28 mm ok now I will rotate the view to show you. So this will be half inside and half outside. Go to view, visual style and change it to wireframe. So this will be the profile. Ok. Go to sketch, escape, exit from dimension. Now select this projected profile and make it a construction geometry. Ok. Now finish sketch. Now go to sweep command select this profile to sweep for path select this profile ok now go to view visual style change it to shaded with edges now you can see it is constructing the extrude profile but we want to cut so from here we will select the cut and press ok so this is the profile go to home now go to 3d model Take fillet command here take a fillet radius of 2 mm and select this top edge and this inner edge rotate inside edge the outside edge so it will be all round profile and apply ok rotate the profile now go to defaults and here give the color as chrome polished black ok and save it. 
I've already made it so I'll take a new folder and give a name as assembly okay and save it as part 1 save okay now for the second part the sheet metal part go to new take a sheet metal part in millimeter and go to create take here the 2d sketch and select the top exit plane rotate from here select the two point center rectangle select the center point make a rectangle of 76 tap 76 mm okay now go to fillet command here take a fillet radius of 13 mm and select this edge select this edge this and this so the all corner rounds will be of 13 mm radius now finish sketch or first we will make it a sheet metal open profile so go to line command from this center join it up to the center line escape <coughs> go to offset command make it an offset here at left side click enter and take a offset of 1 mm similarly select this line move to the right enter and take a 1 mm offset and escape now select this 1 mm change it to 0.5 similarly select this 1 mm change it to 0.5 mm ok now go to trim command trim this inner profiles ok and escape select this all three uh, lines make them construction geometry go to horizontal constraint select this point this point similarly this point and this point make it horizontal ok it is already horizontal now go to dimension select this edge from center this will be at a distance of 38 mm ok center point and this edge at 38 mm now this is fully constrained finish sketch we have a cut profile over here to open the sheet now go to counter fringe go to top view rotate the sheet will be outside the sketch so the flange profile will be outside the flange uh, this sketch now from here go to top rotate it to the front view and here make a distance of 14 mm one side flinch and apply exit now to change the sheet thickness go to sheet metal defaults here uncheck this and here give the thickness as 2.5 mm and apply ok exit now we will make the cut profile so first we will unfold this so go to unfold command select this as the stationary surface and from here select add all bends and ok ok now select this first face go to create sketch and here from here go to polygon command polygon of six sides from this point make one straight polygon and make one more polygon here Escape. now go to dimension the width of this polygon will be of 6 mm and width of this polygon also of 6 mm Escape. or first give a one dimension more this center from here will be at a distance of 12 mm now escape now go to vertical constraint select this center point and select this center point now select this line so it will be vertically aligned escape now finish sketch mm, do one more thing go to sketch 2 again go to line command and cut this polygon into half now escape 
and finish sketch go to cut command select this bottom profile and select this complete polygon cut up to thickness of 2.5 mm and okay okay <coughs> now we will pattern this so go to rectangular pattern select this cut profile or from here also you can select go to direction 1 select this top edge flip the direction take a count okay, center to center distance is 8 and the count of 37 you can see it will come till here and ok now select this face go to create sketch now we will make a cavity profile or whole profile over here go to polygon once again of 6 sides make polygon profile here exit go to dimension the outer dimension here will be of 6 mm now go to vertical constraint select this bottom a yellow point and select its center and select this and this ok now go to what horizontal constraint select this yellow point and select the center now it is fully aligned now go to sheet metal and take the cut command it will cut up to thickness of 2.5 mm and ok so this will be the profile now go to rectangular pattern once again select the cut to and go to direction 1 and take this edge as direction 1 flip the direction take here center to center of 8 mm and the count of 37 you can see till here it will come and ok so this will be the profile now we will go back to the folded part so go to refold select this face as a stationary face add all bends rotate the view now you can see the folded part here apply ok ok so this will be the part Exit. now we want to mirror this complete part so go to mirror command from here we will select the mirror solids so to select the complete solid go to mirror plane rotate the view and select this bottom face so it will mirror about this face and ok so this will be the complete profile over here ok now change its color assign it a color of light red ok and save it save it as part 2 we will say ok ok now we will make the assembly portion so go to new take a standard assembly in millimeter and go to create now go to place and place first part 1 the enclosure part open and place it over here escape rotate this part and select this view we will work in this view now go to view visual style change it to shaded with edges and change the lighting to grey room ok now to make the moment constraint of this enclosure open the part 1 origin and origin of the assembly this is origin of assembly and this is origin of part 1 now go to assemble and constrain the planes of both the parts and assembly go to constrain select yz plane and this yz plane here we will take mate and apply exit plane and exit plane apply xy plane and xy plane here we will change it to flush and apply 
okay exit now you can see the location is constrained now we will bring the sheet metal part go to place select the part to open and place it over here scale now go to constrain select this inner face rotate the view and select this back face apply exit now drag it over here go to constrain select this inner face rotate and select this face apply exit now it is moving only in up and down direction the side movements are constrained so to constrain this top and down constraint go to constraint select this top view or top face rotate and here select this bottom face okay and apply exit go to home rotate it okay so this will be the basic model of the hex pattern box in autodesk inventor i hope you like the assembly and the video so please do hit like and subscribe the channel if you like the video thank you